by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. And welcome back, everybody. Looking out of all four angles of our Cactus Guy Cam, we don't have a whole lot going on. We do have a few little light clouds. They're very thin and wispy, so not going to amount to a whole lot for this afternoon. Right now, we are sitting at 88 degrees in San Angelo. Humidity down to 53%. And winds are a nice little southern breeze, about 13 miles an hour. Not a bad way to start off our afternoon hours here. we got a lot of mid to upper 80s to kick off our noon hour here around the Concho Valley. So again, not too bad in humidity levels down 40s and 50s across the region. So it will feel a little more comfortable than what we've had the last couple of weeks. And we're gonna continue that as we head into tomorrow as well. I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself. We do have a few breezy winds coming in, like I said, mostly from the southern direction. Ozona has 60 mile an hour winds coming in right now. Otherwise, most everywhere else. We got single digits in the eastern and southeastern portion of the region. Otherwise we got 10 to 15 mile an hour winds coming everywhere else. Looking at our drought monitor, we've got plenty of rain, so there is no drought in the Contra Valley per se, but you'll notice just a Above Ronald and Coleman County, they have that abnormal dryness going on that is slowly trying to creep its way back into our area. But we may or may not have a few showers to deter that. But we are going to see a lot of 80s and 90s across the state at this time. And we're going to continue to elevate those temperatures as we progress through our afternoon. Not a whole lot of activity going on for Texas. Maybe a few spotty showers just on the edge of the coastline barely starting to come in, but otherwise we're not expecting a whole lot for our day. We're going to continue to see plenty of sunshine throughout the region, and we will see those winds coming in from the south. They're going to calm down a little bit in the next couple hours, about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then increase once again for the later part of today. We're looking at mostly mid to upper 90s as we continue through our Tuesday here. Tonight's loads will be dropping just to the 70s. We'll have clear skies, and those winds will also be calming back down, and then tomorrow is going to be kind of a repeat of today with the exception that we're going to have a few degrees cooler for highs. We're looking at low to mid 90s and those winds are going to vary in direction starting from the south and then eventually coming in from the east later on tomorrow. So we could see a few clouds tomorrow morning. Otherwise, those are going to push out as soon as they came in. And then heading into Thursday, we'll start off a little bit on the sunny side here, but we're going to increase a little bit on those clouds as well. And we're going to see higher levels of moisture making their way in starting Tuesday or Thursday as well. So we're going to be back to those muggy mornings and we're going to have a mix of sun and clouds heading into Thursday. We're going to have more sunshine for the morning and clouds in the afternoon as we get into next week, Monday. Spotty showers expected on Saturday and Monday of next week as well. You're watching KLST News at Noon. We'll be right back after this.